Here we are in Asheville again with Sock Monkey Tarot reading for the month of, month of September for Aries. Hot, hot. Aries, hot fire sign. All right, let's see what's up. Do some soul healing work here. Oh, there you are, Aries, for sure. Positively using your mind to cut through to the chase. Definitely you. Exactly the way I think of um, Aries people. And okay, here's a uh, you do have the uh, talent and <laughs> work ethic, working really hard there. Pay attention to details, but you can become a workaholic. So that could be your cursing or your blessing. You need to look at that. Working too hard can definitely be stressful. So okay, here you are looking out. Um, there's this new venture, new passions here, three passions, looking out over water. And it's kind of like you're sail, sailing a ship, but you, um, you've sent it out, don't know when it's going to return, don't know exactly what's going to produce, but you have new passions in mind and they're already in progress. Oh, and see, teamwork and planning. There you go. That's a, something that you can build on. You're really good at teamwork and planning. See, the guy's got uh, blueprints and the workers telling him, you know, what he's doing here is showing him his work. Okay. Okay, you're going to go through some needing to use your intuition. I always say, I can't use my head to judge everything because I can talk myself out of anything. I can't use my heart all the time because I, I'm in love with everything. So it's, I'm just a sucker. Um, but I can use my gut, my gut, my intuition. And that's something you really need to look at this month for you. And you, you have the capacity to do that, your capability to do that. And here's another thing that's coming up is karma. Okay, now with karma, mm, what I mean is things that are already going to happen. Things that are already planned to happen to you by our conditioning, our interactiveness, I mean our interconnections, um, things happen to us. We don't have as much free will as we think we do. We definitely are so conditioned and so interwoven with each other that um, that we're just moving as one being, really. Okay, and your attitude is, oh, there you go. You can definitely make some money and definitely hold space for other people. That's wonderful. That's a great card. Your outside influence to that is some um, new ideas that you can just use to cut through, just like cutting through the chase up here. The King of Swords. Farther along in the month, what you're going to go through is a lot of um, juggling, flexibility, and fun. Look at the way he's juggling those two coins. Perfect. You're going to be able to do that very easily. And the final outcome is you're going to feel like you've got the world in your hands. See the two wands? One of them is really stable and held down. It's bolted down onto concrete. The other one is a new passion in his hand. He feels like he has the world in his hand right there. Looking out over emotion. He's standing on solid ground. Very grounded. So you're going to be grounded with a new passion. So here you are. You can cut to the chase. Use your mind for decisions. Definitely. But be careful not to get too addicted to your work. Don't become a workaholic because that definitely causes a massive amount of stress. And you need to look to see what you're trying to avoid if you're working too hard. But you do have the talent, to, you know, to, um, to finish a project, no doubt about that. So here you are with a new venture set out, three new passions. And they are in the works. And teamwork and planning is definitely something that you can build on. That's your springboard right there. 
but to see what's going on. Oh, you can use your intuition. Everyone can do that, actually. And don't forget about karma. Uh, law of attraction. We are, um, our frequencies draw other things to us that are of like frequency. There's no getting around that. But here you are holding money, holding space for other people. You're able to be uh, um, sovereign and take charge. And there's a new idea ready to come forth. And you're going to go through a lot of flexibility, juggling of a lot of different things, but you're capable of doing it for sure. And you will feel like you have the world in your hands with your new passions. One of them is very solid. The other one is brand new in your hand and you're feeling like you're looking out over all the emotion, but you're very grounded. You definitely feel like you have the world in your hand. So it looks like a really good month for you. So what do you think, Gabby? Tell them to uh, click on the bottom, uh, the little link at the bottom of this video if you want a personal reading and get back to us and we'll see you next month. Alrighty. Bye-bye.